So in our last video, we had a look at activity management within Dynamics for Sales. And we had a bit of a look at how we create tasks, you know, how we can even create appointments and even send emails from Dynamics for Sales. But what we didn't show is the integration between Dynamics and Outlook. So I said before that any task that we create in Dynamics will be synchronized through to Outlook if we choose it to do, um, to do that. Um, but what we're going to focus on here is namely email integration, which is probably one of the most common things that you, you're going to want to synchronize if you are connecting Outlook to Dynamics 365 for sales. So I've got an email up here from a customer. We're using me as the example because I've got Azure IT set up as a customer with, uh, with myself set up as a contact. So all we've got to do here is establish that it's an email that we want to track within Dynamics. Click on the three dots, click on Dynamics 365, I'll open a little pop-up window on the right here. Now, what's good about this pop-up is without actually tracking anything, because it recognizes adam.shilton at azure-it.com, is it's giving us a bit of insight into what's going on with that particular person. So we can see contact information. I haven't got a phone number there, but at least we can see job title. Um, and then we've got the uh, customer account that it relates to. And that is, of course, a hyperlink. So if I click on that, it will take me into the customer account. Um, and we'll do that in a second. I can also see, which is quite handy, next activity, which is that meeting um, that we set up in, in the last session as well. And I can also click on see more um, to see sort of a list of follow up activities as opposed to just the one there. So that that works quite seamlessly there without us having to think too hard about what we're doing. So obviously a lot of what we do is in Outlook, so it's good to have that insight. If we now want to be specific about where we want to track that email, we can click on this set regarding. And instead of it just tracking to me as a contact, I can then say, right, well, actually, I want to track it again. Azure IT as a customer and this is obviously useful if you are working as part of a joint sales team or if somebody needs to pick up from you at any point um, you've then got your single source of information with all communication against that customer or prospective customer okay so we're going to click on that hyperlink um, it'll take us through to Azure IT um, we've got a little bit of a, a summary there um, all, all of the details and then in that timeline we can see that email has synchronized there and then if we go into the Dynamics application itself um, I'm actually on Azure IT as a customer, so I'm just going to refresh here and we'll see that that email has also synchronized through um, to our customer timeline as well. So update. Hi, Mod. Can I have an update on our last conversation? Capturing everything. Now, the integration is intelligent enough um, so that it won't require you to track every reply in a conversation. So it will pick up on the subject line and continue to track unless you decided to turn it off. If you are starting a different conversation um, with that contact or customer that has a different subject line, then it won't track it until you then do the same process that we've just undergone there. So we don't need to go into sort of task synchronizing and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but as an initial overview of how Dynamics integrates with the Outlook, um, that should be a pretty good starting point. So Hopefully that was useful. Speak to you soon. To order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30-day free trial, navigate to d365.link forward slash now.